Welcome to Homespun Videos. My name is Roy Bookbinder, and I'm going to try to teach you some of the tricks about playing guitar that I know. I don't play Reverend Gary Davis like Reverend Gary Davis did, and I don't play John Hurt like John Hurt did. Not that I didn't wish I did, but I don't. I'm going to try to teach you how I came up playing the guitar and ended up with my style. I'll give you many variations to every song and let you arrange it your way. I show you the right hand and I show you the left hand and I show you all the different chords I know. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and I think you'll get a lot out of it. We're going to start out with the C Rag song, the one I played in the intro, and it, uh, I recorded it as the Black Dog Blues back in 1973, I believe it was. And it's really fun to do because there's so many different variations and possibilities. And even when I'm playing it in a show, I'm not exactly sure what's going to come next. It's kind of uh, improvising within the bounds of your knowledge. So we'll start out with the most simple, and we'll scoot right through that because I'm sure there's no beginners out there but uh, there might be, you never know. So we start out with the C chord. The basic chord structure, is I'll just run down with the thumb on the bass line. To the A, to the D seventh, to the G, to the G seventh. Now right before, I'm going back into the A, to the A seventh, D, just alternating the bass and strumming it is a nice way to start it. Even when I play the song in concert, there's often times I just do the strum as a, it makes the fancy part look better. Kind of a bluegrass run in there, I guess. So here we go. I'm just picking with two fingers here like this. I got my middle finger or your index finger hitting the first string, and my thumb is just doing that constant alternating bass, which makes the tune D, G, seventh. And then this chord here, you hit the uh, B string in the third fret with your pinky after the G seventh. Some other kind of G chord. I don't know the names of most of my chords, but here it is again. C. There we just one more time. C, A seventh, A, D seventh, G, G seventh, C. Now the right hand is, uh, right hand I always consider to be the, the one that makes the stylist, it creates your style, which your right hand does. I, I could never really teach you what fingers should do what. You just have to look and listen and do what you're comfortable with because that way you'll play like you do instead of like I do. You don't really want to play like me anyway. Why would anybody? <laughs> now we'll make it a little fancier this time. D seventh. And put a little boogie woogie in just with the bass. Just with the thumb there. Starting on a G. Right back into it. Strum, why not? Boogie boogie in the G. A flat. It's not a real A flat. A real A flat would be something like this. Reverend Davis used to do that chord. But it's impossible to play, so I always skip it. I just kind of hint at the A seventh because it's a real quick move, and I'll show you how that goes in this time around. After the C, C, boogie woogie in the A to the D7, boogie woogie in the G, so we're already adding little bits to it.